Can you believe the fact that an asteroid just one kilometer in diameter could pack more punch than all the nukes we've ever detonated? That's a lot of energy for something so small. But do you know about the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago? Now, that was a colossal impact. A mere 10 kilometer wide asteroid collided with Earth, swiftly bringing an abrupt and devastating end to the once thriving era of dinosaurs. So, why are we even talking about this? Well, because if another one of those gigantic space rocks decides to drop by uninvited, we need to be prepared. It's not about doomsday prepping. It's about facing the unknown head-on. Can you imagine the sheer chaos if an asteroid were headed our way? How would we react? What would happen next? Sure, our atmosphere can handle the smaller asteroids. But what about the big ones? It's a humbling thought, realizing that despite our technological prowess, we're still at the mercy of the cosmos. Imagine waking up one fateful morning to a sky that's not quite right. The sun rises as it always does, but then something feels off. The sky takes on an eerie red hue, an indicator of impending doom. As you grapple with the surreal scene unfolding, the news breaks, an asteroid undetected until now, is hurtling towards Earth. The clock is ticking, and we have a mere one hour left. The air itself becomes dense with an ominous stillness, carrying the weight of the unknown. The asteroid's force reshapes our planet in the blink of an eye. As the countdown reaches its final moments, the world braces for impact, a collision that will echo through the annals of history. All right, so you know when an asteroid decides to hit the Earth, it doesn't just leave without leaving a mark, right? One of the big, jaw-dropping effects is crater formation. And we're not talking about your average pothole. We're talking about epic craters that redefine landscapes. Take, for example, the Chicxulub Crater down in Mexico. Let's rewind the clock about 65 million years to a time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Now picture a dino-destroying asteroid a mere 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter, slammed into our planet with the force of a cosmic sledgehammer. The asteroid was not even that big, 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter, to be precise. But can you guess the size of the crater it left behind? A whopping 180 kilometers. That's like throwing a pebble and getting a Grand Canyon in return. Now, you might be wondering, how does a tiny asteroid create such a colossal dent? Well, when that rock from space meets Earth, it's like the ultimate collision course. The impact sends shockwaves and heat that rearrange the landscape on a grand scale. We all know asteroids are like cosmic speed demons, right? Imagine an asteroid, fueled by immense energy, smashes into our home planet. But what happens when one of these slams into Earth at thousands of miles per hour? Brace yourselves, it's not just about the impact, it's the shockwaves that follow. The energy from that collision doesn't just disappear into the void. It transforms into shockwaves that ripple through our world. Earth quakes, but on a whole different level. Well, believe it or not, they're like earthquakes on steroids. Think Richter scale cranked up to 11. If that asteroid is a heavyweight champion, we're not talking about just a sprinkle of stardust. You might be thinking, clouds, how bad can they be? Well, picture this cloud not being the fluffy, white kind, but more of a block out the sun kind. And why does that matter? Now, sunlight is really crucial for life as we know it. No sunlight means plants can't photosynthesize. Animals lose their chill and the whole ecosystem goes into survival mode. It's like turning off the sun and hoping everything still works. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. If you're lucky enough to move underground, you might be safe from the storm brewing above. But for those brave souls out in the open, get ready for a debris and dust storm. It's not your average windy day. We're talking about swirling clouds of chaos. Now, here come the million dollar questions again. What if this debris cloud situation is just a temporary inconvenience? You might survive the chaos, right? But what if it decides to stick around, 
blocking sunlight for an extended stay. That's where it gets frightening. It's like a survival challenge where the stakes are high and we're all holding our breath to see if we make it. Amidst all the chaos, one thing is certain. We must find a way to survive, no matter what happens. Because in the face of such a catastrophic event, our only hope is to band together and fight for our survival. Let's hope that when the asteroid hits, we're ready for whatever comes next. But what if we met an end like the dinosaurs? They had their own tale when a similar scenario unfolded. So, what's the deal? Can we ride out the storm? Or are we facing extinction? Well, turns out, there are literally millions of asteroids just hanging out in space. But here's the best part. Most asteroids never make it past the atmosphere. It's like the ultimate shield, giving us an asteroid-free Earth experience. And just in case you're wondering who's keeping an eye on these celestial troublemakers, it's NASA. They're like the cosmic security team, scanning the skies to make sure nothing sneaky is headed our way. So, no need to start building asteroid bunkers in your backyard just yet. But here's the thing we can't get too comfy. While the chances of an asteroid hitting us out of the blue are slim, we still need to be aware of what could go down. Scary stuff, but understanding it is like knowing the rules of a game we hope we never have to play.